everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the boob job, okay? The boob job. Let's just get that out there. I had a breast augmentation and it was amazing. I got a whole little list here. Oh, also, don't we love like the background here? This isn't gonna be my permanent background. For anyone that cares, I think I'm gonna get another one of this bookshelf and put it on this side and then move this mirror. I think it'll just complete the whole look. What do you guys think? What do you think? But anyway, I have like a whole list of things in my phone that I wanna cover, so let me just get to it. Anyone that knows me like in real life or has known me for a long time knows I've been talking about this since I was 16. I remember being like 15 or 16 thinking about how I was going to work at Hooters because I believe at the time they would like front the money for your breast augmentation and then you would pay it back by working there. I've always had a really small chest. So does my sister and I feel like my body is very proportionate. Well was very proportionate other than that. Everything I wore like any type of bodysuit dress, whatever. I always had to wear the Victoria's Secret bombshell bra, which they discontinued. That was like my secret weapon to make it look like I had boobs, okay? But in reality, I was a solid A cup, maybe a little bit bigger on my period. Let me just be real with you. I was so insecure about my boobs. That is the only thing on my body that I ever felt insecure about. If there is something that you feel insecure about for years, okay? In my opinion, just change it. If you can do it now I'm not gonna say it, I was insecure to the point where I wouldn't like wear a bikini or anything like that like I still lived my life like a, like I normally would whether I had them or not it was just always kind of in the back of my mind and it always bothered me so when I had the spare money to make this happen I was like it's a no-brainer let's do it the next step for me was finding a doctor um yeah I feel like when you find a doctor, you need to find somebody that, I don't wanna say gives you family energy cause that's kind of weird like to be like, oh, I want, uh, you know what I mean? I really wanted to find a doctor that I felt super comfortable with because some of these doctors out here, and no shame, no shame to anybody that would go to a doctor like this, but some of these doctors out here are like, one and done, let's go. They're sending a couple girls through a day doing surgeries. I wanted something more personal. My number one tip for finding a doctor would be don't just visit one. Went to a couple different consultations and a lot of these doctors will give you like a free consultation. I looked into people in my area. I looked into people out of the area. I looked into people in Miami. If anybody out there is thinking about doing this, do your research um don't just meet with one doctor and be like all right this is the one the doctor that i went to is in um pittsburgh pennsylvania looking back on it i do feel like i paid a lot of money um like in the higher range actually why am i acting like this i'm gonna tell you how much i paid i paid 8900 for my boob job and then i also ended up paying an extra 1600 because i i was supposed to get these inserts um these like mesh inserts right at the front that were supposed to make them sit higher because I am back in cheerleading. Doctor said that whenever he actually went into my surgery, my flesh was so healthy that there was no point of using the, the mesh inserts. So I ended up getting refunded that 1600. So, okay, my boob job was right around nine grand. Just for reference, that is on the higher end of boob jobs average for Pennsylvania but it just like in general, it's on the higher end. I don't want people to be like, oh, I wanna go to that doctor because I went to that doctor. I don't know if people would even do that, but if so, please just do your own research. Find somebody that you personally connect with. Okay, so next up, I did my consultation. My consultation was like on a Tuesday. We booked the surgery for the next Friday and then I moved like a week after that. It was like bam, bam, bam. Okay, so boom, surgery day is here. There was a lot of prep that I wasn't expecting. I had to be on like, I'm not kidding, so many medications right before my surgery. I almost forgot to mention this. They didn't put me the whole way under. Every time I say that, people are like, girl, I think it was the best way they could have went about it. Put me to this, this zone called the twilight zone where it's like a sedation method instead of like going the whole way under anesthesia. I could hear everything happening in my surgery. I could see so the day of my surgery um we go into like the surgical room whatever they put a curtain between me and uh, like to up to here basically and then I was under that sedation so I just felt really loopy like really just like high honestly during my surgery like I said I was awake I heard him say word for word it doesn't fit mind you I'm sedated okay my mind 
heard that okay and I started like profusely sweating because I remember the nurse coming over and I saw her with my eyes like she was patting my forehead and she was like it's okay it's okay and I'm like what the do you mean it doesn't fit it was an a cup before my surgery and I told him I was like I don't really care about a size that was the first thing everybody asked me what size did you go to um I don't know because I'm literally never wearing a real bra again in my life. That was the point of getting it done. A sports bra, I wear like a medium or a large now instead of an extra small or a small. I'm never wearing a bra again. Bye. They asked me about sizing. I was like, I almost like wanted to hear his thoughts and opinions. I didn't even have an opinion. I wanted to know what size he thought would look good on my body and what wouldn't make me look crazy but would still make me like proportionate. And I kind of just trusted his opinion on that. I didn't even know the difference in sizes. Like that's one thing I didn't do any research on and I just went with what he said and that was that. My implants are supposed to be 440 cc and looking back I guess that's like on the bigger end I didn't know honestly I just told him whatever would look good 440s didn't fit and I guess I didn't have enough like breast tissue so they had to put in 410 cc thinking back on that too I'm really happy that like the doctor didn't just force that 440 cc inside of me because no like these are the perfect size if they were any bigger I would look not right surgery took about two hours Rachel picked me up and I honestly was fine like I was so fine I really got on Instagram live later that night I was feeling good let's talk specifically about pain the day of I had no pain I had no feeling um I was pretty sedated the entire day I just went home got in my bed I had to sit upright I couldn't sleep laying down but they told me that in advance so whatever my surgery was on a Friday so Saturday was actually the most painful day I had of the entire procedure I don't know how to describe the pain like the pain seriously just felt like there was something foreign in my body and my body was like tensing up. I did sleep most of the day that day and then the third day was Sunday and the pain had actually went down like intense. Like it went down a lot by Sunday. I was so okay the day of my surgery that I'm literally going to insert like a video here of me talking. Good morning. Oh no, it's, it's afternoon. <laughs> Today was surgery day. Um, I didn't record anything earlier this morning because... It was a hectic morning. Um, I had to be there at 8.30, but basically I got in 8.30, got my medicine. I'm truly, honestly, in no pain, like at all. Um, I feel really good. That's how okay I was, okay? I have friends that have got this done and they were just down bad for a long time, but yeah, no, my recovery was fast. The only thing that like kind of freaked me out was how high they sat. Wow. I didn't even see them. I did not take my surgical bra off until Monday. Like, I, three days. People were in my DMs like, oh my god, how good do they look? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I've never seen them. <laughs> Post off, I got to see them and they sat literally so high. Like, up here. They were literally up here. The doctor said that they would drop and that was that. When I first saw them and I saw how high they sat, I was like, well, shit. Eventually they did drop and they actually dropped really fast. I got my surgery on a Friday and it was like two weeks afterwards they were dropped. They went above the muscle, I think. These are things I should know. <laughs> One other little side note, I had really bad mouth ulcers. Honestly, the mouth ulcers were probably the worst part of my surgery. And my doctor thinks it was from the antibiotic. More uncomfortable than the boobs, honestly. I didn't regret it at all. I had a couple moments of like, oh my God, they're so big and they just felt weird. But nowadays, like I honestly forget that I even got them done. Today's date is October 8th and I got them done on July 31st. So we're pushing right around the three month mark. My doctor did tell me he said about eight to 10 weeks for full healing i just feel like my body just handled it very well other than like the slight weight gain which i do hear that can it can be common with a boob job because your body's kind of thrown out of whack other than that it wasn't bad i would do it again in a heartbeat honestly i just would probably go somewhere that i could get similar results and pay a little bit less but i don't regret going to that doctor at all now everything that i wear i don't have to wear a bra um or i can just wear a sports bra if i'm wearing a hoodie or something Some people ask me about sensation um that is probably the weirdest part of the whole thing i still don't have full sensation in my boobs i'm literally rubbing them while i'm saying that 
And my doctor told me that that's normal, that you don't always regain it right away, and it kind of comes and goes. My um, aesthetics nurse, the one that dissolved my lips not long after my boob job, she also worked in plastics for a really long time, and she told me with a lot of patients, it's super, super sensitive or not sensitive at all, and it like goes right back and forth, which was definitely the case for me. I had some days of like some like moments of extreme sensitivity and then some where I couldn't feel anything and they were numb. I guess it's just the nerves healing. I just googled like common boob job questions because I feel like I'm forgetting something. I totally forgot to mention that I have silicone, not saline, and it's not a fat transfer. He just told me that silicone would give me the highest shelf, which was something I was very adamant about because of cheerleading i knew that like from like cheerleading and catching a flyer right here literally right here that over time the shelf would fall i don't want to have saggy boobs especially if i spent 10 grand on them thank you i say i can't show you them like i can't show you them you know i would this is how they look in a crop top and they, i feel like they kind of make my waist even look skinnier too this is the side view. It's kind of blending with my bed, so I'm trying to not. Cleavage, I have good volume. I also wore a bikini for the first time, and I have never felt more confident in my life than when I put that bikini top on. I was like, and that's pretty much it. I'm happy I did it. If there's any questions that I'm not answering, I am like ready to answer anyone's question now. I know that for a while I was kind of putting off all of the boob job questions, but that's because I wanted to put this one video out there and give you like all the information at once. And also like I wanted to kind of take my time and figure out how I felt, figure out the whole procedure and like get a good grasp on it before I sit here and just start speaking to you. If I would have made a boob job video immediately after words you guys would have been like well they didn't even drop yet <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said if you have any questions about any of this um send me a dm on instagram my instagram is fun we have fun over there if you don't follow me on there what are you doing you can leave them in the comments i will be responding to all of the comments on this video i swear to you all i swear to you all thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video bye